it's Mrs. Walls, and I'm going to be reading chapter 11 from Friendall. Extra, extra, read all about it. On Thursday morning, the Westfield Gazette was delivered to all 12,297 homes and post offices in Westfield. The story about Lincoln Elementary School was the first item on the front page. And the headline? Local fifth grader says, move over, Mr. Webster. It was quite an article. Not that Judy Morgan didn't tell the truth. Every statement in the article was completely true. It was the particular way she told the truth that got things hopping around town. For example, take this sentence about Mrs. Granger. Mrs. Granger, champion of the forces of order and authority, is battling hundreds of young Frindle fighters. Neither side is giving in. Or this bit about Nick. Everyone agrees that Nick Allen masterminded this plot that cleverly raises issues about free speech and academic rules. He is the boy who invented the new word. Or this last sentence in the article. One thing is sure, the kids at Lincoln Elementary School love their frindles, and no one seems to be backing off in this war of the words. And of course, the Westfield Gazette published the class picture too, and Mrs. Granger and Nick were identified for all the world to see. What is the meaning of this? That's what Nick's mother said, putting the article in front of Nick's nose when he got home from school. Did you talk to this reporter? She seems to know an awful lot about you and your new word, young man. What is the meaning of this? That's what the school superintendent said to Mrs. Chatham, slapping a copy of the article onto her desk. Why, did you have to talk to that reporter? Don't we have enough trouble getting the taxpayers to pay for the schools without articles like this banging around town? What is the meaning of this? That's what Mrs. Chatham said to Mrs. Granger, shaking the newspaper in front of her face. I know you had to talk to that woman, but did you have to say all these things? It'll be a wonder if we don't all get fired. It was quite a Thursday for everyone, and no one could figure out how Judy Morgan had gotten that fifth grade class picture. Happy reading, everyone.